So my number six, I'm sticking with boxing, and I'm sticking with the, I'm going with the hitman, Thomas Hearns. Oh, Born in Tennessee, moved to Detroit when the man was five years old, trained under the godfather of Detroit boxing, Emmanuel Stewart, at the famous Kronk Gym. This man had a 155-8 and eight amateur record, including a Golden Gloves title. And then he started his professional career by knocking out his first 17 opponents. And then in 1980, at 28-0, ended the four-year reign of champ Jose Cuevas. And then... If you know, you know, legendary fights with Roberto Duran, Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, only adding to the Hitman's legacy, a 61-5 and pro record, 48 wins by knockout, six world titles in five weight classes, fighter of the year in 1980 and 1984, and not only that, he's a fixture in Detroit, currently lives in Southfield. Sure. <laughs> so has very much been involved in the world of sports in Detroit for a long time, is a multiple champion, and you will see throughout my Mount Rushmore championships play a factor. Oh, big but time career big as time. well. And importance to Detroit plays a factor. And when his weight class was the be all end all of boxing at that time period, when you think of the names that I just threw out there and you go watch YouTube of his legendary fights, it's to me, it was a no brainer that I had to have the hitman on my secondary Mount Rushmore. I, it's interesting that you went boxing, boxing five six. Just yeah. given like, and I understand like when those guys came about, like boxing much more prominent of a sport. But like, I See, knew Brian McKay knows what's up. Yeah, I'm sure he does. I can be there with the Motor, Motor City, City Cobra. Cobra. Um, I, look, I can't. I'm not going to argue with you. Like, my man's a six time world champion, and he's what was his amateur record? 155 and what? Eight. Eight. 155 and eight. I appreciate dominance, and that was like <laughs> some dominance. That's pretty good. I mean, and you're 61 and five as a pro in an era that had Roberto <laughs> Duran, Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard. Like, yeah, that's. I mean, I would definitely all say them cats. Like, <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. I like. I would say that's pretty good. Now, unfortunately, like you said, boxing has fallen off. It has the rise of UFC definitely ate into the boxing fan. And boxing itself did itself no favors. The corruption. The that it handled business. And generally, you boxing live and dies with the heavyweights. But in this time period of the 80s, where the heavyweights were, you know, starting to come up, you know, especially when Mike Tyson really started getting, getting going. But that weight class carried boxing and... I imagine a lot of younger audiences have no idea who the hitman is. And you're right. I feel sad about that because they will thoroughly enjoy watching this man fight. Because <laughs> this so man could I, hit and hit I do hard want to and reach out. to stand there. 